We weren't inclusive. We were, we were behind in both data and digital. And our primary and debate process needed improvement. So there's no one solution. There's a long list of them. Welcome back to Opinion Journal. I'm Mary Kissel. That was Republican National Committee Chair Reince Priebus earlier this month discussing the many problems with the Republican Party from his perspective. Americans for Prosperity President Tim Phillips is here to talk about some of the RNC's recommendations. Let's go ahead and put the first one up on the screen. And it says, and I quote, we believe that absent some material or obvious reason otherwise, the Republican Party should have a solid and persistent preference for primaries. Tim, agree, <laughs> disagree? I think they ought to let local states and communities choose their method of nomination. I mean, Republicans say that they're for uh, entrepreneurial spirit, right? So why not let our states and our localities pick the method of nomination? I don't know that the guys in Washington, D.C. know what's best. I'm a Virginian. We have a convention in about a month and a half there, Republicans do. That's a wonderful method to pick for nominations for Virginia. Let them pick locally. Okay, maybe that's not as controversial as the next, next one. Uh, when it comes to, so let's put that up on the screen. When it comes to social issues, Oh, no, okay, we are putting the controversial one up. <laughs> we need to campaign among Hispanic, Black, Asian, and gay Americans. What a uh, shocking idea. Yeah, geez. I mean, <laughs> what, are, we, are we supposed to pick two out of these, uh, two, That's out of, right. Maybe two, two or three out of, four of these? And... Um, it, it, why has this not occurred to the party before? Uh, that, it's stunning to me. I mean, look, you, you take your message to every American. Now, look, you tailor the message maybe differently from area to area, but the core principles you take to everyone, I'm glad the party is recognizing that. And w one thing I'll say, candidates at the local and state level frankly get that way better than the federal guys do. They just do. I don't know why that is, but governors and state legislative Republicans have had far better success in the last decade, if you think about it, and they get that and they do that. It's the federal candidates who have an issue. But Tim, does this imply that we should tailor a conservative message to these individual groups? say different things to Hispanics, different things to blacks, gays, I Asians, think, I women? Think, I think you emphasize different parts of your message. I think that's a very reasonable thing to do. Uh, you can emphasize that to people who are uh, having difficulty moving up economically, that the, the, the path to opportunity, the American dream, lies with free markets and free enterprise, and that's a Republican message. With other folks, you can emphasize different things. It doesn't mean you're changing your message. The left does that very well. I mean, you have environmental groups that go to their uh, their core groups, and they talk about the the evils of global warming. I mean, it, it's very that's a very reasonable thing to do. It doesn't mean you change your principles. Per perceived evils of global warming, right, of I might course. add. Oh, um, we're going to oh, put correct. up uh, the third recommendation up on the screen, and I quote: "When it comes to social issues, the party must, in fact, indeed, be inclusive and welcoming. If we are not, we will limit our ability to attract young people and others, including many women, who agree with us on some, but not." All yeah. issues. Yeah, women. Wow, Tim. They just got crushed <laughs> in they these did. last national elections by women. W w how do you fix that? This is an age-old issue. I remember Lee Atwater from my generation. I'm a little bit older. He talked about the big tent Republican Party during the Reagan years. This was during the Reagan years, mind you, uh, and leading into Bush 1. Uh, so this is an age-old discussion among the Republicans. Uh, they win when they have a message that appeals to everyone. Yeah, but that's kind of a generic recommendation, Tim. I mean, if I'm a single woman in mm. New York, I'm a working woman, what's the Republican Party? How does that message uh, help me? I think that the message of smaller government, limited government doesn't work there. But what does work is to say, look, do you want opportunity? Do you want an opportunity to be better, to be stronger, uh, to live whatever your dream is? Uh, we offer that. Uh, with free enterprise, we offer that with, with giving you a chance to actually get ahead instead of being stuck but in Tim, a government program do, that doesn't help what you. What do you do when the Democratic Party says, we're for equal wages, um, we're for women's health? How, do the Republicans have an answer to that? I, the, I think the answer is uh, the other side has had a 20-year run with that argument. Okay. And it, has, it hasn't helped anyone. It have hasn't. they really gotten ahead? You know, we talk about the fact that they're the party that has helped you know, single moms and other folks. Are they doing better today than they well, were five years well, ago? They're let's, not. Let's, let's, let's up, ask them, are they doing better, Let's quickly put Mary? up the fourth recommendation. We must embrace and champion com comprehensive immigration reform. If we do not, our party's appeal will continue to shrink to its core constituencies yeah. only. Uh, correct? I applaud what Marco Rubio is doing. I think he's doing the right thing. It takes guts to do what he's doing, going out there and putting forward a pretty bold agenda. Uh, it's not going to be easy. I think some of the Democrats, they don't want to deal because they want to hold that over the head of Republicans. But I think Republicans, and especially Rubio, are smart to be doing what they're doing. And look, 
let's be candid, if it was Lindsey Graham and John McCain carrying <laughs> this effort, it would be a disaster because no one in the conservative movement trusts those two guys. We don't. Let's be, uh, it's it's, it's self-evident. Rubio gives it a chance to make it because of who he is, his voting record, and people know he's a genuine conservative. I guess the question is whether labor unions in the White House actually Well, in the journal, it the journal editorial page made a great point last week talking about that. You can't get a deal at all costs and literally choke off some of the, the key visa programs that we need to expand the labor pool, especially of high-skilled labor, labor folks. And I hope Republicans don't do that. I think there'll be groups that call them on it. Uh, but you can't have a deal at any cost mentality here. Can't have a deal at any cost. Americans for Prosperity President Tim Phillips, I'm going to ask you to stay with me. You bet.